Hi, good afternoon. Um, well, I thought I'd cover a few things that uh, uh, come to mind that at this time are not involving either my uh, primary uh, interests of uh, transport and you know railways or, or politics or that kind of thing. Uh, it's really just life experiences and uh, come about really because of um, reading a book uh, on uh, the subject of uh, a, a person who ha was actually killed in a motor accident and uh, was declared dead on the scene and then uh, 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 who was a pastor at a church but he uh, had a f another pastor come and prayed uh, uh, very very hard for the person and sang some hymns and that for the person and prayed and just uh, the person concerned uh, was he literally went to heaven for an hour and a half and uh, and then returned to his body and he was in a terrible state was uh, basically uh, hospitalized for many months and uh, and has never really fully recovered in in, in some ways um, but he couldn't walk walk for all that time for many months and was in tremendous pain and so forth in fact he wanted to die uh, many times he uh, it, it just said he wanted to die but anyway the point is um it sort of brings back memories in a sense uh for me because uh, 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 uh the first thing some of my friends and uh, uh family or well not so much family because they know me very very well but uh some people uh, who don't know me would say oh yes well you know you're a Christian what do you expect you know you're gonna believe that story and uh, this could be a hallucination uh, and etc etc I've got to say um, that is not the case because uh, uh, both the near-death experience that I had with and also an out-of-body experience uh, sometime they're quite separate from that uh, were, were as a young fellow I was probably about 10 years old or 12 years old when these things occurred and I nearly drowned and um, what actually happened was I was in the uh, Yarra River with my uh, young cousin and I was walking in there I can't swim and I was walking out in the river and and all of a sudden um, I just went down a big hole they said there were up to 40 foot holes in that uh, river at that point up at Warrandyte anyway i went down look i struggled of course the usual uh, um up uh, up twice and down three times so to speak actually occurred to me and at that time i was my mouth was forced open i was filling with water and i was quite literally drowning anyway all of a sudden i saw a uh a, a, a tunnel Sort of a silvery tunnel all the way to the sky i could actually see the sky i was astounded and, and and then i could also see there was a man in a white cloak who showed me my whole life almost like a slideshow on, on a coffee table or something like saying looking at that and then he said do you want to live and i said yes and i blacked out and then i uh when i woke up i had been uh rescued i had uh, been uh, brought back to life so to speak uh uh, and then, uh, of course, in those days, this was the 60s, um, no one seemed to care or worry about going off to hospital and those kind of things for pro proper analysis, you know, check up and proper treatment. No, it was just a matter of go home. I told my parents about this experience and they just said, oh, no, well, you've had a hallucination, don't worry about it. But quite some years later, I read a book by a Dr. Moody and it was called Life After Life, and probably still around the place. It might be in second-hand stores or in libraries or whatever. It's well worthwhile reading. And then I came across this one, um, as I say, it was uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven, and uh, it's most fascinating reading, and it's actually sold uh, 2 million copies. It's on the, it was on the New York uh, bestseller list. And so that experience was absolutely uh, real, and there's no doubt about it uh, that it did occur. Uh, as did on another occasion when I was ill, I had an out-of-body experience, and that was a most strange and fascinating kind of thing that occurred, where I found myself floating, as it were, upside down, just below the ceiling and 
looking in horror at the bed, seeing my body there, and then realizing that if I don't go back into the body, I'm going to die. And I literally remember going right back between my eyes. I just went zip into between my eyes and woke up. But it wasn't a dream. Uh, it was a very real experience. And, and incidentally, we all know we have dreams, and uh, a few of us, for one reason or other, have had something like hallucinations that often have occurred in or in my case i've had a couple of instances of them uh, because of uh, medication very powerful medication that i was given uh several years ago when i had uh, severe bout of cancer had an operation 13 hour operation incidentally to remove that tumor i had very strong medication uh, painkillers and they caused uh, hallucinations however when i was fully recovered I realized that I'd had hallucinations and you could tell and you could tell when you've had dreams and you wake up and say oh boy that was only a dream uh, hallucinations are, are very vivid and so forth but a real life experience like this man was talking about is nothing like a dream and nothing like hallucination nothing at all like uh, any of those sort of things it was a real experience now of course some of my friends are uh, and I discuss these things, uh, kind of things with them, uh, would be, uh, uh, especially with some of my Christian friends, would be astounded that I have seen uh, UFOs as a ch young child, as a young man. Uh, I, I, I was fascinated by the subject as a young fellow, and I used to belong to an organisation in Melbourne that investigated uh, these things, and uh, I accepted that as, as completely uh, true. But... I've got to say that the more you look at these things or the whole subject, the more you realize that something's going on. But I um, I don't mind answering questions from people and so forth on that subject uh, sometime. But we're not really getting on to the subject of UFOs, which as I said, I accept that um, uh, I think there's much more evidence for them, in other words, or even ghosts, let's say. There's many anecdotal stories of that, and I've experienced that as a young person as well. Uh, it's quite an amazing uh, fact that I've had a lot of encounters with what you call the paranormal. It's genuinely has happened, and too long a story to go into now. However, uh, I have um, now seen quite a significant amount of evidence that does builds up my. I already have a faith that, uh, I, 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 but when you see people's accounts, some of these people are. Uh, 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 highly trained people, uh, and my wife has a book on, uh, you know, she's got a book on a um, highly qualified doctor who had an experience and went, left her body and went to heaven and came back, and I haven't read that book yet, but uh, I, I would like to. So the point is, um, I've experienced this kind of thing, and I just would like to say that I regarded as absolutely uh, correct and, 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 and true and I do not pull anyone's leg or carry on with nonsense and waste people's time. So I just thought I'd put those few thoughts there uh, to you and make as for people to con consider and perhaps discuss with me in person or they could contact me on my email or through uh, Facebook or through my uh, um, uh, uh, other channels, as I say, on mute. This is going on to YouTube, but I mean, apart from that, of course, I'm saying uh, primarily email and YouTube. Uh, sorry, uh, Facebook. So well, I just thought I'd leave that with you guys and um, uh, and see whether there's anybody out there that um, has some experiences they'd like to talk to me about. And I just say uh, all the very best and thank you for viewing.